Sony just announced its new ZV-1 camera, and this thing is a mini content beast. Okay, so before we get into this video, I did just want to say that this video is not sponsored by Sony, and they are not paying me by any means. I wish they were. But they did just announce this new ZV-1, which, from what I know about it, it seems like it's the best vlogging camera out on the market, and especially for the price of it. So right now, we're gonna open this thing up and, and see what it can do. Okay, so first of all, this thing is pretty compact and around the same size as most other point-and-shoot cameras. The camera also did come with a dead cat that you can easily attach or detach using the hot shoe. In the past, you would have to hot glue it onto the top of your camera that would kind of ruin it, but now you can easily attach it or remove it. And the thing that you will notice next is the flip-out screen. With the flip up screen, it was okay, but the microphone always got in the way, and with this flip out screen, that's no longer an issue. Okay, I'm getting way too anxious over here. Let's test this thing out. Okay, now it's time for the cinematic test. I got the camera right here, and I got Mr. Get That Shot Gabe Santi, and everything for this next sequence is gonna be shot here on the ZV-1. Okay, so, so far, I am honestly blown away with the quality of this camera. Even just reviewing all the footage here on the LCD screen, I can't believe that this was shot on a tiny little point-and-shoot camera. Like right now, I am the focus point, the camera knows that, we have the eye detection going on, and then it is automatically blurring out the background. The only thing that really is going to be the test, I think, is just the audio, but it does have an audio jack where you can plug in an external mic, but that just takes time, takes up more room, so I'm hoping that the audio on camera with the dead cat is fine. So being on the middle of a bridge, this is kind of like the ultimate test. Guys, I really wish Sony was paying me for this because I do have so many great things to say about this camera. This thing's just a mini content beast. Now, the first thing that I did like about this camera is this right here. The fact that the LCD screen does come out and you can flip it like this so that it is protected. Because the first time I brought this thing out shooting, I threw it in a sock and threw it in my pocket. Because typically, with point and shoot cameras, you don't want to get the LCD screen all cracked when it's like that in your pocket. But with this, you can flip it out, flip it back like that, and the, the camera is pretty secure. So overall, I'd say that this camera is very durable. The next thing I really like about this camera is once you turn out the LCD screen, it turns on automatically. So you can go from having this thing in your pocket to vlogging in probably under two seconds. Hi, me Brett. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, go. What's my time? Wow. 3.3 3 seconds. I think that's a new Guinness World Record right there. Now something that I haven't seen on any other camera is that this thing has a soft skin feature. You can turn it on and off, but it pretty much makes your skin look like the Paris filter on Instagram, where it kind of gets rid of those little wrinkles, even some pimples you may have, and just overall enhances your skin. So this is what it looks like with it off, and then this with it on definitely can notice a major difference. I'm personally gonna probably leave it on, you know, try and get rid of any of those pimples I may have. Skin's looking kind of good though. 
Next thing that I did notice about this thing is the autofocus is incredible. Like if you are a YouTuber and you want to review products, you can hold up the thing that you're reviewing and want to hold up and then once you get it out of the way, it'll just snap right back to you. Okay, so let's review this bubble tea. Once you hold it up, it'll snap focus to that. And then once I pull it away, it snaps right back to your face with the eye detection. So I feel like if you're reviewing any types of products that this camera is superb for that. What are you wondering? VV's bubble tea. The review, eight out of 10. The next thing that is so important about a camera and that I feel like point and shoots always have had the trouble with is the audio. And again, this thing does have this hot shoe of a dead cat, so you can take it on and off. But it does have the audio jack as well, so if you want to put in a different microphone or even attach your lav to this, you can totally do that. But for me personally, that's not really why I'm gonna be using this camera. I want it for those quick shots where I can just open it up, start vlogging, and be good to go. And not have to like plug in all these different microphones. So this is me talking on my a7 III with the Rode Mic Pro Plus, which is about a $400 microphone. And now this is the audio from the built-in microphone on the ZV-1. Also, holy crap, with my lighting right now and this skin feature, I look like I should be starting a beauty channel right now, damn. One of the things I wish they could have done that I haven't seen on a point and shoot yet is have a wider lens. This thing is a 24 to 70, so it is wide enough and good for vlogging, especially if you do put it on like a mini Joby tripod, then it gives you that wider range and you can see more of yourself and when your hand's held, it kind of just like crops in on your face. But overall, I would say that this is totally fine and it is nice that you can zoom up to 70 millimeters. And this little beast also shoots up to 120 frames per second and does shoot 4K at 24 and 30 frames per second. So I feel like shooting with this thing in 4K, you can barely tell the difference with some shots with that camera and this camera. That's how good this thing looks. And for you guys who are advanced video creators, this thing does shoot in different picture profiles. So if you're gonna color grade, you really can make this thing look super cinematic. I personally did just shoot it in the standard one, but for those of you guys who want to try and blend this footage with your other cinematic films, this can totally get the job done. For those of you guys who are beginners, you're not gonna really have to worry about color grading since compared to other Sony cameras, this thing was already naturally vibrant. So if you don't want to worry about color grading, you, you really don't have to with this thing. I'd say it naturally looks pretty damn good. Now the next thing we should talk about is the price of this thing. So from my knowledge, I believe it's gonna be going for around $750. And compared to the similar model, which is the RX100, I think that thing goes for around $1,300 or $1,400. So for the $750 range, this thing is a steal. And the reason that camera is a bit more money is because it has a different build that was more expensive and then also has an electric viewfinder. So the RX100 I'd say is definitely more for photography and then this thing if you're trying to get into video making. Not saying this thing can't take great photos, but for video, it's pretty darn impeccable. So for my honest opinion, I would highly recommend this camera. And I wouldn't say that to you guys, I'm not getting paid. This is not sponsored by Sony, but I think that if someone were to ask me what camera they should get at an affordable price, this is what I'm going to say. The ZV-1. I wish they just called it like the mini content beast, but yes, the, the ZV-1. For those who are professionals and do filmmaking or YouTube full time, I would highly recommend adding this to your camera bag. And I would also recommend anyone who's a beginner just getting into video or YouTube to use this camera. It just checks all of the boxes that you need in a good YouTube camera. The ultimate mini content beast. For those of you who are just getting into YouTube and video making and you know now you have your camera, but next you're gonna wanna learn how to edit and you know learn how to use this thing. And that's where Skillshare comes in. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing and inspiring classes. All taught by professionals and gurus in those industries. They have classes on everything creative from photography to graphic design to filming to editing. Skillshare's got it all. They have classes on all ends of the spectrum, so if you're a beginner, you can even take a class that teaches you how to make videos just with your iPhone. Then if you're more advanced, there's another course by Dan Mays on storytelling that I'd highly recommend. 
It's a quick 23 minute class too that's just jam packed with knowledge. So if you want to get started with creating or if you're someone who is just looking to take things to the next level, then you must try out Skillshare. Especially being under quarantine right now, I've been using Skillshare to learn new skills and just try and make the most of this quarantine and be as productive as possible. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they are down to hook up the first 1,000 of my subscribers with a two month free premium trial. Wait, what did they tell me to say? What are they giving you guys? All right, so the first 1,000 of you guys are gonna get a two month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So if you click the link down below, you'll get the two free months of Skillshare, which I highly recommend and you can use this quarantine time to you know, focus some energy on learning something new. So thank you again, Skillshare. Thank you, uh, Sony, for this camera. I hope you like this review and I will see you guys next week.